These are my suggestions to sell your Orlando home swiftly and for the best price. Think can, clean, available, neutral colors. Now you would think this is obvious, but apparently not. Clean, when I show a home that is not professionally clean, it is the first thing buyers notice. They will nickname it the dirty house. They always nickname homes. Make sure the front door is clean, that the lock works easily, and it doesn't squeak like a haunted house. <coughs> Putting restrictions on showing times is absolutely ridiculous. Buyers have limited time as well. Neutral colors. Your bold choices will not be the choices made by the buyer. While it may be painful, repaint. You want the potential buyer to picture their family in the home, not just try to piece together your history. So remove personal items. You don't want them to refer to the house as the guy who played lacrosse. Rather, you want them to refer to it as the house with the large patio. Have a pre-listing inspection. Agents will disagree on this point, vehemently disagree. And the main reason for disagreement on this point is that if you find something in the report that you didn't know about, you will have to disclose it even if you repair it in some cases. But consider that if there is an issue that the seller's inspector finds, the buyer's inspector will find it too. Nip then where some insulation was not rolled out in the attic. This is handled right by the original builder two years earlier. Here is what my buyer would say and did say. Well, if the builder made this mistake, what else could they have missed? A small item now has become big. That same property had 17 light bulbs out during our viewing. In this hot market, we had zero competing bids against us. Any buyer would be concerned that this might be an electrical issue. It wasn't. If you want multiple offers, my point is make sure everything works. A pre-listing home inspection will put the ball in the seller's court. You are aware of any defects or safety issues. You can either fix them or disclose them and price accordingly. Saying that it's up to the buyer to have an inspection is also saying it's up to the buyer to walk away from the sale. Leave that clean inspection report out. It's the seller's property, but it may give the buyer enough confidence to skip the inspection entirely. Hire a handyman. We all have things that we avoid fixing that patio door that has a stiff lock, a plug that doesn't work, get them fixed. Professional photography. Even in hot markets, you need to put your best foot forward. And over-eager agents who post a listing with a banner saying, more photos coming soon, aren't doing the seller any favors. The first few days of a listing are buyer-driven. List when all the photos are ready. On the flip side, MLS in Florida has increased the number of photos per listing to 100. <laughs> I suggest that posting that many, not a good idea. Leave something to the imagination, something for them to see. Lockbox. Agents that don't invest in an electronic lockbox aren't doing their sellers any favors. Electronic lockboxes track every agent who enters the home. A case in point, for sellers who are residing in the home and wish to be present for the showings, I completely understand. However, you will be what is remembered about the home. Being reachable, if there is a question, is the best option. Especially be reachable during the inspection time. Now, open don't sell homes, they sell realtors, statistically. Instead, 
I would suggest a broker's open when agents can tour the home so they can present it to their buyers when it becomes available, maybe a few days later. However, open houses don't necessarily hurt. I just would not let unguided groups of unknown people in your house with your possessions available. Well, that's my point of view and I appreciate yours in the comment section and please like, share, and subscribe.